Good morning, Gaithersburg. This is Ethan Butler. Today is Thursday, March 16th. Welcome to Trojan News. Two weeks ago, MCPS Superintendent Monifa McKnight visited some of the CTE programs here at GHS. She had a great visit to our school, and Jessica Klein-Thomas is here to tell us all about it. On February 28th, the Superintendent, Dr. McKnight, visited Gaithersburg High School to look at our school's CTE programs, and I was able to speak to the Child Development Program about the visit. I was very nervous. Um, you always want to do a good job and, you know, present your best. Hype Miss Murphy up, basically. I just wanted to hype up our program. My impression was she was very nice. Um, I didn't get to talk to her a lot, but she seemed very nice. I guess I, I envisioned, you know, when someone has such an important job that they would be so stiff and, you know, political, rigid, whatever. Uh, she was not like that at all. Anyone who is in the education pathway is not allowed to go into um, intern at MCPS schools anymore. I would like to have that change. I'm hoping that by her coming here, and getting to meet so many people and see so many wonderful students doing the things that they love, that it will shine a positive light on our school. After her visit, there's no doubt Dr. McKnight was able to see all of what our great CTE programs have to offer our community. Dr. McKnight also got to see some of our Black History Month celebrations to end February. But now with March comes Women's History Month. Tatiana Diami has the story. Hello my fellow Trojans, this March we celebrate Women's History Month, a month to celebrate important leaders, artists, events, and more. Year after year, decade after decade, we learn more about our history and the women who built it. From marches to organizations, these women figures have had a lasting impact. Here are five historical figures and events that occurred in the 21st century. Now, let's hear from one of our female students and her opinion on being a woman in her career of interest. I'm Jessica Klein-Thomas and I'm in 12th grade. Um, I'm interested in the film industry. Ideally, I'd be a director or a film writer. Um, and I just think obviously Hollywood is just not, I wouldn't say not the best place for women, but it's a hard place, I feel like, especially as like a minority woman. I think of like, you know, Sofia Coppola, Greta Gerwig, Chloe Zhao, are like female directors like I automatically think of or but like they're not put in the spotlight per se so I just think it's really hard to just be taken seriously because you're just always someone's always gonna not like something you do just because you're a girl. In Gaithersburg, I'm Tatiana Diomi for the Children News. Happy Women's History Month everybody! It's still cold outside but spring sports are gearing up. Tyler Scholl went out to the fields to check on the baseball team. What's your name? Uh, my name is Christian Gupta. Okay, do you know uh, who all your coaches are? Um, mostly, but we haven't had a JV coach, but we're going to get one soon. Do you guys have enough people for a full JV and full varsity roster? Yes, we have definitely enough people for both. Do you play more than one position? Um, no, I play one position. What, positions do you, what position do you play? I play catcher. Yep. Okay. Would you encourage other people to like join if they're just looking for an extracurricular activity or if they want to get into a sport? Yeah, I would encourage people to join because our team is still building in that phase where we're going to be a competitive team in the season. So as a JV player, you can really develop your skills and maybe move on to varsity if you feel like it. Finally, spring also has prom season. I have some important information about after prom for you. Saturday, May 13th, that's the day of the student favorite event, After Prom. After Prom is an amazing event to keep students entertained after the prom has ended. And get this, it's completely free. Free tickets for the After Prom event will be available when you purchase your prom tickets. You do not need to attend the prom in order to attend the After Prom event, but you do need to get a free ticket to attend. All juniors and seniors are welcome. The event starts at 11 p.m. and ends at 3 a.m. You can enter the building through the front entrance. Doors will 
close at 1 a.m. for admission. Re-entry is not permitted as well after you have left. There will be prize drawings at 12.30, 1.30, and the grand prize will be unveiled at 2.30. There's going to be a whole lot of free food all night long, so do not let any of it go to waste. Active attire is needed, as there will be a lot of fun activities. The students can change out of their prom attire at Boar Park or GHS. Also, the PTSA is not responsible for any loss or theft of personal items, so keep all of your things close by. You can get an airbrush tattoo, challenge your peers on the inflatable obstacle courses, shoot some baskets with your friends, get your picture taken in the photo booth, and dance the night away. It's going to be a whole lot of fun, and we hope to see you there. And that's it for today, Gaithersburg. We'll see you next time.